hello guys and welcome back to my channel i'm so glad and so happy to see you once again in today's new video so today i'll be showing you how to trade with the macd indicator so i've already done a video about the macd indicator but today i'll be showing you how to trade with it once again because i've been receiving a lot of questions from you guys about this indicator and other indicators and today i decided let me make a video about the macd indicator so i'll show you how to analyze this indicator how to interpret it and be able to enter trade so if you have not joined my private chat in telegram channel i have a private chat there i talk with other traders i also talk with other people who want to learn more about crypto trading and also they talk with each other as well i post their trading signals as well so i'm inviting you to join i left a link down below the link down below is a link to my personal chat write me with the code word money team and then i'll be able to add you to this private chat and you can be able to learn more about crypto trading ask your questions and also receive trading signals that i post there once a day so please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video and comment down below if you have any comments about any new videos that you'd like to see or any other comments i'll be able to reply them so let's get started so hello dear friends so as i said at the beginning of this video i'll be trading with the macd indicator today i know i've already done a video about this but i'd like to show you the correct and right way to open trades using this indicator combining it with technical analysis so i'd like to show you how to activate this indicator so to activate this indicator you have to choose this macd indicator from the list but I'm not changing anything, just making the moving averages a little bit more thicker so you can be able to see them. So you can see on the chart that under the chart you can see there is a display. And this display consists of two moving averages of green and red color. And also you can see that there is a horizontal zero line. And on it there is a histogram of red and green color. And a signal for opening a trade here can be when the green moving average is crossing over from top to bottom, the red moving average. This situation will signal that there will be a trending down. And in this situation, you can open a down trade. And also the indicator works in the opposite direction. For example, when the green moving average is crossing over the red moving average from bottom to top, it will signal an uptrend. And also here you can observe that this is the horizontal zero line and the histogram can show us what volumes are depreciating. When the green histogram is forming over the horizontal zero line, it shows that it will change into the red color and each bar is becoming shorter than the previous one. So this situation will signal that in the near future the price will be falling and also when the red histogram is approaching the zero line from top to bottom as well and after that the red histogram is appearing under the horizontal line and each bar is becoming longer than the previous one this will signal that the decreasing volumes are going high but there's also another situation to keep in mind this is when the red histogram is under the zero line and after that it's becoming green and the bars are getting shorter and approaching the zero line this signals that the increasing volumes are going high and the price will be rising then when the moving averages of green and red color go parallel to each other and are crossing the horizontal zero line for example from top to bottom this situation will signal that the price will be falling and also when there is the intersection of the moving averages from bottom to top it's better to open the up trade in this situation because it tells us that the price will be rising but don't forget that these signals are just auxiliary tools for this indicator you need to perform technical analysis first meaning you need to look at the trend movement up and the trend movement down you need to look at the support level and the resistance level because most times these indicators can give you errors but they also help you as well find entry points but you shouldn't rely only on them so i'd like to show you how to trade with this indicator so let's open our first trade for today so this is a level of resistance and also i can see that the price hit this level and then pull back and now it's again trending up and squeezing this level and here i'm interested in the volumes and i'm going to ignore the moving averages you can see that the red histogram has changed to the green one and it's approaching the horizontal zero line so here i'm going to open a two minute trade up because it signals that the increasing volumes are going higher and the price will continue moving up so let me wait for the results of this trade and see
So this is very good. The increasing volumes really went high and the price resumed trending up and I've got the profit here again and I would like to go on. So here is another situation. This is a very good and steady uptrend and the top this is the level of resistance. The price pulled back down a little and then the price is trending up again. You can see that the moving averages have crossed. And the green histogram went to the horizontal zero line and it's forming over the zero line so here i'm going to enter the market with an up trade for two minutes because it signals that the increasing volumes are going high and in the near future the price will be rising so let me wait and see the results of this trade So analyzing the situation, the price really trended up to the resistance level and I've got the profit from this transaction. So this indicator was very useful once again, so I'll go on. Well, looking at this situation, this is a level of support and the price hit this level and then it was trending in the flat zone and after the pullback, the price is approaching this level and it's squeezing this level. So you can see the green histogram is changing to the red one and also this is the intersection of moving averages so here i'll enter the market with a down trade for two minutes um, because i think that the price will be trending down and even will break this level through and you can see that the price has the strength to go down and price maximum is getting lower so let me wait for the results of this trade and see So analyzing this trade, price really resumed trending down and then broke through this level. I've got the profit from this transaction and also the indicator was very useful for me. So I'd like to move on. So this is the level of resistance and the price pulled back from it. And you can see that there is an intersection of moving averages here. And you can see that the red histogram is forming here. So I'll enter the market here with a down trade for two minutes and I suppose that the price will be trending for a while but let me wait for the results of this trade and see. Well, analyzing this, price is trending in the flat zone, but the movement down resumed and I've got the profit here again. So the price resumed trending towards the inner support level and then pulled back up, but I would like to continue and find another situation. So analyzing this, I can see this is a level of support and this is a quite steady level and the price is approaching this level and is touching it for the third time already. And I'll enter the market here again for two minutes uh, with the down trade because the indicator shows the intersection of moving averages and the histogram is forming. So let me wait for the results of this trade. So here you can see the price really resumed trending down and broke through this level and I've got this profit and the indicator really showed a very good entry point so let me go on. So this is a level of support on the chart and the price is impulsively trending down to this level so you can see that the indicator display shows you intersection of moving averages and the red histogram is forming so I'll enter the market with a down trade for two minutes and wait for the results of this trade. Well, analyzing this trade you can see that price really trended towards this level and I've got the profit again. The decreasing volumes really went high 
and price resume moving down and the indicator was really useful to me again and showed me a very good entry point so i'll go on trading so you can see this is the level of support here and after the pullback the price was trending in the flat zone and now price has exited the flat zone and now the price is impulsively trending to the level of support so here i'll enter the market with a down trade for two minutes because i can see the indicator shows intersection of moving averages from top to bottom and the volumes are going high so let me wait for the results of this trade and see So analyzing this, the price really resumed trending down and I've got the profit again and the indicator was again useful and the decreasing volumes really went high. So you can see now my balance is $4,300 and I would like to open the last trade for today. So this is the level of support and this is the pull back up and from this point the price reversed and is now trending very steadily so we had a similar situation before and you can see that the indicator shows there is an entry point and the price has strength to fall so here i'll enter the market with a down trade for two minutes because i think that this price will continue falling because it has the strength to go down so let me wait for the results and see So analyzing the situation, I can see that price really resumed trending down and I've got the profit. So the indicator was again very useful for me. As you can see, the decreasing volumes really went high and the price went down. And as you can see, my balance is now almost $7,000. It's $6,760. And I would like to stop here for today. So as you noticed, I worked out several situations in the market today using the MACD indicator and I'm very glad. So if you noticed, I was focusing mainly on technical analysis before using the indicator. So technical analysis is the basis of any trade and you need to focus on it. And all these indicators are just auxiliary tools and they can also give you errors, but they also help you find entry points in the market, but not all the time. So if you like this video, if you found it useful, if you have any questions, please i'm inviting you to join my private chat in telegram channel i left a link down below that link down below is a link to my personal chat write me with the code word money team and then i'll be able to add you to this private chat so you can be able to join be able to learn more about crypto trading be able to talk with other members of the group i'll answer all your questions i also post their trading signals once a day so that you can be able to use them and be able to trade and make some profit as well so if you found this video useful if you really like this video please don't forget to leave a like please don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to share this video and also do not forget to hit that notification button so you can be notified when there's a new video your app and also if you'd like to comment you can comment down below i'll be able to answer all your questions be able to answer all your comments if you have any idea for any new video as well i'll be able to answer you as well so thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for being on this channel so until next time bye bye